the talkative turtle and two swan. Two swans and a turtle lived in a pond in jungle. They were all best friends. It did not rain for a whole year. The pond was slowly drying out, so the swans decided to find a new one. Within a few days, they found a new pond. Both swans could easily reach it but not the turtle. Much thought, the swans came up with an idea. The first swan said to the turtle, We will bring a stick, grab it tightly in the middle with your mouth. Then the three of us can fly to the new pond. The second swan warned, Turtle, you talk a lot. You cannot speak while we are in the air. If you open your mouth, there will be trouble. The turtle laughed and said, Brother, I will be completely silent. The next day, the swans brought a thick stick. The turtle grabbed it with his teeth, and the three set off on their journey to the new pond. When the people of a town saw them on the way, they were surprised. They shouted in delight at the odd display. The turtle could not control himself. As soon as he opened his mouth to respond, he crashed to the ground and got terribly injured. Moral. Do not speak more than necessary. The Mouse and the Monk A magical monk lived in a village. Tales of his miracles spread far and wide. A small mouse shared the same village. He was very afraid of cats. The monk will definitely help me if I ask. And so, he told the monk his problem. The monk said, I will turn you into a cat. That should solve all your problems. The monk cast a spell that turned the mouse into a cat. Now he could go anywhere without fear. Everything was fine for a few days. But then a dog caught sight of him. The cat quickly ran to the monk and told him everything. This time, the monk turned him into a dog. The mouse was very happy as a dog. Alas, his happiness did not last long. Humans kept chasing him away. He reached out to the monk once more. Please turn me into a lion so no one will bother me he requested. The monk recited a mantra. The mouse immediately turned into a lion and said, I am hungry. I will eat you. He attacked the monk. The monk understood that this mouse was selfish and ungrateful. He quickly turned the lion back into a mouse. Moral of the story. Do not harm those who help you. The Naughty Piglet. A long time ago, many wild pigs lived in jungle. They lived in unity so much so that even the lion maintained his distance. Among them was a naughty little piglet. One day, while he was playing alone in the forest, he thought of a prank. Save me. The lion has come, he started shouting. Within a few moments, many wild pigs came to help him. When asked about the lion, the naughty piglet started laughing. Everyone realized he was up to no good. The piglet really enjoyed this prank. He did it every day. The elderly pig tried to get him stop, but he did not listen. Eventually, all the pigs got used to his prank. Now, whenever he called for help, only one or two pigs would come or sometimes none. One day, the piglet wandered deep into the forest. A lion saw him roaming alone and prowled towards him. When the piglet saw the lion, he ran away in fear and started calling for help. When the other pigs heard his call, they thought that the little piglet was making mischief again. So on one came to his aid. In the end, the lion made the piglet his prey. Moral of the story. No one believes a liar even when he tells the truth. The Two-Faced Jackal A very dangerous jackal lived in forest. All the animals of the forest were afraid of him. With the passage of time, the jackal became old and weak. It became difficult for him to hunt. So he made a plan to get prey easily. Like a sage, he started chanting Ram Ram throughout the day. The animals thought that the jackal heart really changed. But the jackal was very cunning. He pretended to worship all day and hunted animals while they slept at night. Two rabbits lived in the same forest. Both were good friends. One day, they got into a fight over a carrot. Their fight went on for a long time yet it was nowhere close to getting resolved. One of the rabbits suggested, let us go to Baba Jackal. Only he can help us now. Both the rabbits came to the jackal with the carrot. They bowed to him from afar. Jackal asked the reason for their visit. One of them said, Baba, we both are fighting about how to share this carrot. The jackal looked around carefully and thought, no one is around. If I eat them, no one will know. The jackal said, 
give me that carrot. I will divide it equally between the two of you. The rabbit approached the jackal without much thought. Sensing the opportunity, the jackal attacked them both in an instant. Moral of the story. In a fight between two, the third always wins. The black calf. Once there was a farmer who had a cow. She blessed him with a lot of milk. A few days later, she gave birth to three calves. Two were very fair but the third was black. The three calves did not get along. The mother cow once saw the black calf standing alone. She longingly watched her sister play with each other. The mother cow asked, Why don't you play with your sisters? Mother, they do not play with me. They keep teasing me and calling me black. The mother cow called her daughters to her. It is wrong to tease someone about their looks. She explained, Our worth is measured by our actions, not by physical beauty. But the sisters did not pay heed to her advice. As time passed, the calves grew into healthy cows and the mother cow became old. The three cows began giving milk. Even combined, the two fair cows could not give as much milk as the black cow. The farmer was pleased with the black cow. He treated her specially. The mother cow said to the two sister, You did not listen to me when you were younger. But I hope you see now that what you do is more important than how you look. Moral of the story. Actions are more important than external appearances. The merciful lion. Deep in the forest, a lion was on the hunt. He saw a deer and prepared to attack her. The deer spotted lion and realized that she would die today. She said, Sir, my baby is alone at home and hungry. Let me see him one last time. I will meet him and come back quickly. Then you can eat me. The lion said. The deer pleaded with the lion a lot. In the end, the lion took pity on her. He released her with strict orders to return soon. The deer rushed home and fed her baby. The baby noticed that his mother was upset. He asked her what was wrong. The deer told the deer baby what had happened. The baby said, Do not worry, mother, I will beg him to release you. The deer refused but the baby was stubborn. At last, the deer went to the lion with her baby. The deer said, Sir, I have come to you as promised, but please do not hurt my baby. No, sir, eat me instead. I am glad you kept your promise. But the love you have for each other has changed my mind. Leave. I will find another prey. The deer and the baby left happily. Moral of the story, always keep your promises. The deer and the horse. A horse was eating on the lush grass in the forest. He thought, if no one comes here, he can have all this grass to himself. After some time, a deer came along. When the horse saw the deer eating the grass, he got angry. The horse went to the deer and yelled. This is my area. Go and find your own. The deer calmly replied. This forest belongs to all of us. I am not going anywhere. The horse decided to take revenge on the deer. He went to a hunter and said, I can help you hunt a massive deer. The hunter said, He runs very quickly. How will I follow him? The horse replied, I am fast, too. All you have to do is sit on my back. I will take you to him. The hunter immediately got on the horse's back. The horse galloped to the deer. The hunter killed the deer when he saw the opportunity. The horse said, You have hunted the deer. Now let me go. The hunter laughed and said, I really enjoyed the ride. Only a fool would let you go. The once wild horse became a hunter's servant. Moral of the story, be careful of whom you turn into a friend or a foe. The Three Bulls and Lion An angry lion lived in jungle. All the animals in the jungle were terrified of him. Three bulls also lived in the same forest. All three of them were best friends. The lion was no match for their combined strength. That is why lion never attacked the bulls. The loin found a way to break their friendship. With the help of a bird, he spread a rumor that one of the of the three bulls had befriended the lion. The bulls ended up believing the false news. Each become suspicious of the other. The three bulls got into a fight about it and they parted ways. One day, the lion spotted one of the three friends walking alone. He took the chance and attacked the bull. The bull tried to fight back, but alone, he could not defeat the lion. 
Next, the lion went after the second bull. Finally, it was time to hunt the third bull. I could not kill all three of you together. So I spread the rumor that divided you, the lion admitted to the third bull. The bull was very sorry. It was too late, however. In the end, third bull also fell prey to the lion. Moral of the story. Do not believe in rumors. The Black Duck and Ant There was a massive lake where a pair of ducks lived. They were friends with all the animals and birds in the forest. A few days later, the duck laid three eggs from which three ducklings were born. Two ducklings were white and one was black. All the animals praised the beauty of the two ducklings. No one said a word about the black duckling. The duckling grew into ducks as time passed. The white ducks were arrogant and hot-tempered. The black duck, on the other hand, was very calm and humble. The black duck lived in harmony with everyone. The two ducks always picked fights. One summer afternoon, an ant was drinking water by the edge of the lake. Suddenly, he slipped and fell into the water. The ant was drowning. He asked the two ducks playing in the pond for help, but they ignored him. Then the black duck came wandering. When he saw the ant drowning, he rushed to save him. He let the ant sit on his back as he brought him to safely. The ant thanked the black duck and left. The heroic story of the ant's rescue soon spread throughout the forest, and the black duck became famous. Moral of the story, true happiness lies in living a life of humility and harmony. The Peacock and the Crow Once there was a proud peacock one day, he was drinking water from a lake. A crow arrived to quench his thirst. The peacock rudely turned his back on the crow. The peacock and the crow started drinking water. Afterwards, the peacock was admiring his pretty feathers in the lake's reflection. He was very proud of his beauty. The crow approached the peacock after drinking water. Why did you turn your face to the other side after seeing me? The peacock said rudely, I am the most beautiful bird in the forest, and you are ugly. I do not want to talk to you. The crow was very sad to hear this. He flew away. A fowler had been trying to catch the peacock for a while. Sensing the opportunity, he set a trap on the lake's edge. The crow flew by the same time. The peacock begged the crow for help. You didn't even want to hawk to me. Why should I help you? The peacock was ashamed. He apologized to the crow. The crow forgave the peacock. The crow left with a promise to return in a while. The crow went to his friend Mouse and asked him for help. The mouse immediately cut the net with his teeth and set the peacock free. From that day, peacock, the crow, and the mouse became best friends. Moral of the story Those who forgive are always great.